I never planned on uh, doing video as a career. I find lately, I find lately that I have a problem with making videos and the only problem, and the only problem is not an actual problem. It's not making the video. It's, it's the fact that I took it from being a simple fun thing that I did to a overly complex, complicated, multi-step process that no longer felt as a form of creative expression, but now as a obligation. I don't know if that's the right words, but what I'm saying is I, I need to simplify my process. I need to simplify everything about what I do because I no longer am doing it for the reason I started. And I think that innocence as a child that you have when you, when you learn something is relevant when it comes to proceeding to do that thing for a long time. And I, I guess the better way to word this is I came into this field at 14 and that was eight years ago and I made videos for fun, strictly for fun on YouTube. There's another channel out there where you'll find it. Um, and those videos were a blast to make and though they didn't get me very far in terms of like viewership, they did teach me a whole lot about making videos so there was a benefit to them. However, I made those videos just because I wanted to make them. No one made me. There was no expectation to be good. There was no expectation to, you know, shoot and log or have a good microphone on me or lighting. There was no expectation at all. The only expectation was my own, which was, hey, have an idea, go finish the idea, make the video, finish it, just get something out there, it doesn't matter. And I think that that, that simplicity of being a kid and just like, I want to do this, so I'm going to do it and you, and you do it, is something that I need to bring back. The point is maybe you've gotten too deep to the point where no longer do you have that like flair for it and it's just an obligation, a task to be done. At their simplest, video is a way to tell stories and humans, the only thing we want to do is tell stories. I don't care what anyone says. We write books, we make movies, we make music all telling some form of story. They say something for the future generations to know about or for our own self in our own futures or for memories. But then again, once again, memories, memories are just stories in our heads, stories we want to remember. So what do we do with those memories? Well, we do our best to remember. And that means we document it somehow. But the point I'm making, the problem is that where's the line when it becomes something that's worth remembering to something that you're forcing yourself to create. And what I mean is, uh, I have an idea for a video because I want to document something that I'm thinking about. However, when does that thought, that innocent thought of just like an idea turn into, now I have to finish this thing and now I have to, you know, get it done because I have to things that you're not 100% passionate about to learn. It's just more or less the complexity of my workflow here would be like, I have a monitor, not anymore. I had a monitor on here shooting in ProRes RAW. That ProRes RAW footage took about three days to export the last video, which was about skin tones. It should not have taken three days to export a six and a half minute video. I don't care what anyone says. That is a poor use of my time, a poor use of my computer's resources, just overall not beneficial to me making more content and again i started making videos just to make videos not to turn into a career or make some job out of it or overcomplicate the process no i just did it to make videos when you when you find something you enjoy like video and you do it for the fun and for the sake of enjoyment Anything that gets in the way of that enjoyment, anything that slows down that process should be eliminated. Oh, I don't have the right lens to do this job. Well, then get it done with the lens you have. Don't let the lens stop you, right? It might make sense to have the lens, but if you don't have it, you don't have it. Don't use a monitor if it's going to make you have to export for three days and not be able to post an extra video. Do what makes the workflow the best for you. However, don't let things get in the way of that workflow and that creativity and that per constant pursuit of better. My point is not to whine about the fact that I've had all this nice gear and stuff. That's cool. I, and I know that when I was in maybe your position or a long time ago, a couple of years ago, even even last year, I wanted all the gear I have now. But holy shit, I didn't even realize that 
that gear doesn't matter, but that gear doesn't help me become a better filmmaker. It just helps me get, you know, prettier footage or whatever. And that's cool. It's nice. It's awesome. But I didn't start making videos because I wanted to have like a business out of it. Like if you went into that intent, I, I get it why you'd want the better gear. But I just went here to make stories and tell stories and teach people stuff and like help the world in some form through my videos, through entertainment, through tutorials like I'm making now, whatever. I just made videos because I thought that it was fun. And I want to do that again. I'm going to do that again. This channel is still going to be the tutorial channel. I'm still going to teach you guys stuff. But I want to make it more in like a you and me learning it together type of thing. Rather than me just like, hey, look at this thing I did on my computer. Here you go. Here's a tutorial. Sure, I'm not saying I'll never do that. But I am saying for a fact, tell as many stories as you can. Help as many people as I can. That's my goal. That's why I started this. That's why I'm going to continue this. And I want to make this video to hold myself accountable, to hold you accountable in case that maybe you're in the position that I am, where you feel a little bit like straight away from, a, from why you started something. Other than that, I know this video was a little different. I hope you guys appreciated it, at least the, the authenticity here, the rawness of this. Um, because it doesn't matter what I shot it in or how pretty it is if the story is shit. If your story is bad, your video is bad. If your visuals are bad and your story is great, your story is going to lead the way. It's going to be a good video. So, I leave you with that. No joke, we're at 3,100 subscribers. I woke up today at 3,100 subscribers. I went to bed at 2,900. This is just crazy. I've been trying to do this for years. Thank you guys so much. Okay.